The next section we are going to look at in the admin console is device management. Under device management, you can control the settings for the network, any mobile devices in your fleet, and also any settings or policies on a user or device settings basis. To access device management, simply click on device management from the home screen or the main menu. Once you select that, on the far left hand side, you have an option for network. If we click on network, this is where you can set up and manage over your network, whether it's Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or VPN. You can also manage over your network certificates and your general settings. If we go back to the device management screen, let's click on Chrome Management. Under Chrome Management, this is where you have a plethora of different options. You can adjust the settings for a user, which means no matter what device in your fleet that user signs into, the same settings and policies will follow that user. You have public session settings. This is more for our digital signage customers. Then you have device settings. That means no matter what user logs into that specific device, the same policies and settings will be enabled. Let's look at some of the features under user settings. Under user settings, you can even control simple things like their avatar and or their wallpaper. From the user settings, you can say if this specific user can have the ability to download and add certain things from the Chrome Web Store, such as themes, extensions, or hosted apps. From here, you also have the ability, as we saw on the other screen, to force install apps or extensions. You can also block certain apps or extensions, and if you want to, you can even pin certain apps or extensions. Pinning an app basically means that that app is now visible on your shelf. You have options as far as the Chrome Web Store recommending certain apps and also Chrome Web Store permissions also. This will give users the ability to publish private apps that are restricted to your domain on the Chrome Web Store. You can manage over the security, whether it is the password manager, screen lock, or incognito mode. Incognito mode is a separate window that a user can open up and it gives them the ability to browse the web However, their history and their cookies are not tracked. A lot of businesses decide to disable incognito mode. You also have the ability to manage over your single sign-in and also some of your different network settings as well. If we go back to the Chrome screen, we just looked at user settings. Let's look at some of the different features under device settings. Under device settings, you can have forced re-enrollment. We highly recommend this. If you have an associate who does have a Chromebook and they either get fired or decide that they're going to quit last minute, that does not mean that they now have a free device. With forced re-enrollment, even if they totally power wash and wipe the device, the moment that they get to the sign-in screen, the enterprise policies will automatically become enabled. So if they no longer have their company email, they're not able to log into the device and they have nothing more than a fancy paperweight right now. You also have sign-in settings. If there are only certain users you want access to your Chromebook via sign-in, you can put in here their domains. Autocomplete domain is a semi-new feature that we've added to the admin console. Instead of having to type out your full domain every time, you simply type it in one time and all you're forced to sign in with is just your username. From here, you can also control the updates on your Chromebook. You can have it set up to whatever time, whatever scheduling you like, that the Chromebook will automatically update. User and device reporting. We highly recommend that people have this enabled on their device. If anything does go wrong with any of your Chrome devices, if they go offline or if there's any type of specific reporting that you need, you can get email alerts about that device. 
And also, you can even manage over the power and shutdown of the device. You can schedule it to where all of the devices will power off for a certain amount of time and then power back on. This is key because for Chromebooks to receive their six-week update, they must be powered down during that time and then powered back up. These are some of the different features that you have under device management in Chrome management.